And now the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, Jalopy Trouble. Catch it. Mr. Logan was madder than a wet hen when he couldn't find him. He sure doesn't like being fenced in. Who does? Well, Freedom is the most important thing in the world to a wild horse. He'll fight to the last ditch to keep it. Oh, he'll calm down as soon as he finds out we're not going to hurt him. Oh, well, Marty, now that you got him, what are you going to do with him? I'm going to tame him. <laughs> this I got to see. You just wait. Before I'm through with him, he'll be eating right out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, right up to your elbow. <laughs> Mochi, how old are you? Eight and a half. Don't you think that's old enough to... Mr. Logan, you don't have to say a thing. I'll just go over and start packing. Now, just a minute, Moochie. Not so fast. But I did wrong. I had no business going out there, especially after you told me not to. You certainly didn't. And, boy, is my dad going to give me a spanking when he hears about this. And, boy, what a one. That's just exactly what you deserve. I sure do, and I'm going to miss you a lot, because I like you a lot. Bye. Goodbye, Mochi. Mochi. Yes? Come here a minute. I didn't say you had to leave. You did? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You've got to make me a promise. I know. I won't do anything bad again. Ever, I promise. It's a deal. <laughs> what a little guy. You wild, ornery critter. It ain't gonna do you no good to fight. You're here to stay, and you might just as well cool off and make the best of it. Still on the war path, huh? Yeah, he's a stubborn devil. He just doesn't like being fenced in. <laughs> hey there, dynamite, simmer down. Nobody's gonna hurt you. you. Tried to bust the fence down, huh? I'll say. But don't worry, I'll bust him. No, no. I'd leave him alone for a few days. Give him a chance to get used to us before we start breaking him. Hey, Marty, throw me that towel, will you? Who's gonna tell him? Not me. Somebody's got to. Boy, sure feels good to get cleaned up once again. Yeah, it sure's a dirty job chasing a wild stung. A lot you had to do with it. Well, I helped catch him, didn't I? Hey, what's with you guys? Huh? Oh, nothing. 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 
You're not mad because you didn't help us catch dynamite, are you? How was that? Well, something's eating you. What is it? Come on, give. We didn't mean to do it, Marty. Honest, we didn't. Do what? Well, we just meant to clean it up. Yeah, we were going to surprise you. About what, gang? Well, what, ambitious? For Pete's sake, come to the point. We didn't know it was in gear, and... Gosh, Speckle could have got hurt, and... It wasn't our fault the darn thing ran away. Yeah. What happened to that old goon stove? Shouldn't happen to a dog. Stove? What are you guys talking about? We just started the motor to see if it would run, and... We went right into the kitchen, and now it's nothing but a piece of junk. The kitchen? No, your car. Hey, where are you going? Blue-nosed gopher. When you guys wreck him, you really wreck him. I told you, Spin, we didn't mean to do it. It wasn't my idea, and that's for sure. Somebody sure goofed. But, Bill, we can't let him go scot-free after pulling a stunt like that. But they didn't do it on purpose. Oh, no, of course not. I just got through telling them to take it easy. The words were hardly out of my mouth before they went into action. Well, maybe they could work it off some way. Oh, how? They'd be here until they're old and gray. Well, looks like we've got ourselves a problem. I don't know. I must be getting soft. They haven't been here a week, those kids. And the first crack out of the box, Moochie hightails it out on the range against my orders, and, and now this. Little Dickens out of Tanny's hide, that's what I ought to do. Poor Moochie. I imagine he's a little saddle sore as it is. Oh, well, serves him right. Seriously, Bill. We've got to do something about this. They've got to learn to take orders, get a sense of responsibility. They're old enough. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Marty, I just thought of something. Maybe it'd be better if you just quit thinking for a while. You and your bright ideas. Yeah, we worked all winter on this. I was just gonna say, maybe the car's insured. Maybe you've got something there. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Graham always insures everything. I'll write her and find out. Oh, that's Thank goodness great. for that. Hey. Oh, wait a minute, gang. I'm afraid that isn't such a good idea after all. Well, why not? Well, you know Graham didn't want us to bring the car out here in the first place. She'd be sore as heck if she found out we wrecked it. Well, you didn't wreck it. We did. Same difference. If we hadn't have driven it out here, you guys couldn't have ruined it. And you know Graham. Mm, I'll say. She blew a gasket. She'd probably yank me right out of here and make me come home. Yeah, she sure would. Well, Speckle. I guess it's up to you, me, and Ambitious to pay for it now. Oh, no, gang. We're all in this together, and we'll all chip in. Yeah, me too. Bet this kitchen stove sent Mr. Logan back 200 bucks, at least. Now it's a mess. This kitchen will have to be fixed, too. Carpenters get 20 bucks a day. Where will we get all that dough? I guess we'll have to start digging into our piggy banks, boys. Here, Joe. Thanks. This it? That's it. I got 68 cents. Good boy, Mochi. Now, let's see how much we've got here. Spin, you count that, and I'll count this. 10, 20, 30, dollar 30, dollar 43, 4, 4 and a quarter. I've got four dollars and, and twenty-five cents. How much you got, Spin? So far, five fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-three, five seventy-three. See, that's four and a quarter and five seventy-three. That's uh, nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. Nine dollars and gosh, is that all? That wouldn't even pay a carpenter for half a day. Gee, you think they'll put us in jail? They'll probably write and tell our folks all about it. We can't let them do that. Hey, maybe we could promote a loan someplace. Yeah, who'd lend us anything? I don't know, but... Well, how about Perkins? He's loaded. Yeah, he'd lend us some money. No, he'd think it was his duty to tell Graham. Then she'd find out what happened. Maybe we could sell something. 
What? Hey, I, I could pawn my watch. Yeah, how much could you get on it? What'd it cost you? Well, 13 bucks, including tax. It's a Boy Scout watch. I got it for my birthday a couple of years ago. Oh, you can't hawk a birthday present. Even if you could, you couldn't get enough on it to do any good. Yeah. You can't borrow in that tax part. I guess I wouldn't be cricket. Dad gave it to me. I see now why Pop's always saying money's tough to raise nowadays. Money's tight, all right. Next episode, The Taming of Dynamite.